there guys, my name is Coach Shai YouTube channel, Donkus the Bomb, but built for theme park news. Now before we get started, please make sure you like this video if you loved it. Please comment down below, please subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another video. Please share with your friends, your family, social media, and guys, make sure you keep getting those questions in using the hashtag question before or afterwards in the comments down below for the next Q&A session which will celebrate our next YouTube milestone when we hit it and that is of course 2,000 subscribers. Now, this video is all about Indiana Beach and it's not closing. We have a new buyer, we have a new owner, he wants to open it this year in 2020 when the parks reopen, when it's safe to do so after the coronavirus pandemic is finished. Um, and it's, we're going to be talking about all of what he wants to do as well. Uh, we're going to be talking about the owner himself, his past, uh, what he's done in the past as well. We're going to talk about some details that are very specific to this story. And I'm also going to share my thoughts on it. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to share some general channel news. And just share with you guys what's set to come over the next few weeks. So, let's get straight underway with the facts and stats that we know about this brand new buyer for Indiana Beach. Now... Back in February, we knew that Apex Parks put their theme parks on the market we just, and they decided to close their theme parks. Fantasy Island and uh, Indiana Beach were the main two uh, talked about on the selling market. And of course, it looks like Fantasy Island do not have another buyer, so it looks like they're going to be gone. Uh, however, Indiana Beach has been saved. I would like to see Fantasy Island saved and transformed as well. But if it's just Indiana Beach, then we're just going to have to remember the memories of Fantasy Island. I never got to experience the Fantasy Island Park in the States, which is a shame. Especially since it will probably close and never reopen. But Indiana Beach, there was a lot of support behind trying to get the park back up and running again. And they finally found a buyer with a lot of passion for the park. He may not be a coaster enthusiast, but he's got a lot of passion for the park. Now, the first report of this was spotted on the Facebook page News and Review. Now, news and review, you can find that page on Facebook or you can find other news articles on this story on the internet as well. I'm using the Screamscape article as an example. So, post on the social media channels of Screamscape the other day, Indiana Beach has been sold and saved and the only detailed report is the one by news and review on Facebook. So, this details uh, the buyer and some of the details specifically put, picked out in the interview with him. So the new owner is a guy called Gene Staples, which is a Chicago area equity investor and businessman who sounds like he's bought the park for the right reasons. To make it family owned once again and to save the park experience for families to enjoy with their children, including his own children who he visited the park with often in the years. They were still hoping to reopen the park for the 2020 season if possible, but for the time being they will be spending lots of time and capital on many park improvement projects. So these include the retracking of Who's Your Hurricane and lots of painting, as staples say that one goal is to return a paying attention to the little details of the park. With these kind of projects, don't provide an immediate return on investment. They do lots of improvement in the atmosphere and guest experience in the park. I do agree that as most theme park fans are aware, Walt Disney himself was a huge stickler for keeping up on all the little details of the park experience. So that was a little uh, mention that was involved in that little article on Screamscape about this. So things like the retracking and the paint jobs of Who's a Hurricane and the rest of the stuff around the park, it's little things like this that makes this a great buy. Now, the fact that it's going to still be, or it was going to go back to being a family-owned park, and there's been a lot of like long-term fans and I've seen other videos on this topic and this news story about the park being saved and they have and one particular video in my opinion uh, where some actually where some of the fans have actually said you know the park was better when it was family owned and not run by the apex group so I think we're going to go back to the glory days here of Indiana Beach and it's glory days that many of us theme park fans do not remember but it's glory days that we're going to see again when the parks do reopen towards the end of the 2020 season now, one big thing to note, and again, I spotted this little detail in another video, is the park will not be uh, free to come in, pay for the rides. It will stay as a pay to come in park for security reasons. So I think that's a really good factor in this. Things like the repaints, the retracking of who's a hurricane, all these little improvements they're going to be working on with capital investment is a great thing to do. Now, many videos have said, and I'm going to say the same, 
do not expect major investment in this park for a good few years yet. This park is very landlocked. It's very tight, so it's very hard to find space for new attractions. So you have to rip attractions out to bring in new ones. However, I think there's a certain number of modern day rides and attractions that could really integrate into Indiana Beach, in my opinion. Things like, and I've said this on a forum in the past, things like the Gravity Group, uh, Wooden Coaster, uh, so things like Switchback at ZDT's Amusement Park, something like that. Of course, the new, larger version going to, uh, that's planning to come to Dorney Park uh, next year in 2021. Something like that would be a great coaster for a park like Indiana Beach. Something that could draw the crowds, draw the coaster enthusiasts as well, because it is a unique coaster. You can only see this at one park in the world, and that is ZDT's amusement or ZDT's amusement park. And of course, you'll only see them at two parks by the time it's this time next year, because of course it'll open at Dorney Park as well, the larger version. Uh, so I think that a coaster like that would work very well at in the future of Indiana Beach, in the long term future, should we say. Um, now, personally, in terms of other attractions, I'm sure there's plenty of other attractions that could work very well at Indiana Beach. Obviously, we know that uh, there's been reports that some rides have been sold already. Uh, are they going to get them back? They're going to replace them. So I think there is room for improvement to replace the sold rides, if there are any sold rides. We know that there's a couple of things sold from Fantasy Island already, uh, even though there's no news on a potential buy for Fantasy Island yet. Uh, so it's very, very interesting to see what's going to happen with Fantasy Island. I mean, to be honest, I think that the realistic solution for Fantasy Island is another family uh, runner comes in with a passion for the part like Gene Staples does for Indiana Beach and buys Fantasy Island and does the same thing there. Or a big company sees potential in Fantasy Island, takes a chance on them, and brings in loads of investment. Now, obviously in the current climate, parks will stay closed for the time being. Uh, we know reports that, uh, I think Cole Marden is, is set for a 1st of May opening date potentially. Uh, I did see that somewhere recently, so that's an interesting story. Uh, but, I think that when the parks do reopen, Indiana Beach will be back to its best. It's good to see it back under family ownership, and the fact that I've heard that it was better under family ownership before Apex Group came in in the first place, you know, I think the glory days could be heading back to Indiana Beach, and I think we are going to see future investment in the next 10 years. Uh, so I definitely think that Gene Staples has got his heart and his mind in the right place, it just, it, there's something about this story. It feels like uh, the Kentucky Kingdom story. Now, I've seen all about that. I've seen the Coast Studios documentary, Save My Park. Uh, I've seen all the things to do with Kentucky Kingdom being brought off from Six Flags, given a few years. You know, it was on the verge of, you know, being demolished and com completely flattened, like the New Orleans Park is set to be. Um, but someone came in with a passion to buy the park and that's how you know Kentucky Kingdom reopened and that's how it continues to thrill guests to this day. Uh, so I think that Fancy Island needs that passionate buyer. I'm thanking God that Indiana Beach has a passionate owner. Let's just hope for the UK now because of course we spoke yesterday about M&Ds in Scotland. Let's hope someone with a passion comes in to buy that park and get that park back up and running again. Get other closed sites back up and running again here in the UK. Camelot, Pleasure Island, Loudoun Castle. You know, all these different parks. Obviously, American Adventures past, you know, being saved now because, of course, there's this new Shipley Lakeside development. I mean, I haven't heard much from that yet, but I, I think it's pretty much on the way. So, um, you know, that's past saving, but it was nice while it lasted. Um, so, it's, it's, it's hard seeing parks go. But it's even lovely when parks get saved by someone as passionate as Gene Staples is for Indiana Beach. So, like I said, hope that passion comes for other parts like M&D's, Fantasy Island, uh, and people like that. So, thank you very much for watching this theme park newsroom update. Now, just a little bit of channel news just to end this video, uh, just to keep you guys updated. Um, there is something big going on. Uh, going into next week. I can't say exactly what it is yet, but if I do get a copy of the interview, or whatever it is, uh, whatever's going on, then uh, I will, you know, send it across and things like that. Um, it is expect. Well, I, I, I just said it then, really. It is expected to be an interview, but it's not what you think. So, uh, 
you know, I've, I've spoken, you know, privately with friends and family and things like that about it, and they're all really supportive and they can't wait for it. So, um, obviously, when I'm allowed to make it public, I'll, I'll let you guys know first. Um, you know, the first people that come to the video or announce it on the social media lounge playlist, of course, you guys will be the first to know uh, when things go public. Um, there's a lot of things I want to do uh, as the channel grows. Um, you know, we all have our dreams. We all have our, you know, aspirations and, you know, things like that. So, obviously, I don't want to make that public now. Uh, but there is obviously a lot of things I want to do and a lot of things I want to be a part of and experience in my life and things like that. So, you know, as the channel grows and gets more notice, and obviously it's down to you guys to get the channel noticed. So share it around with your friends, your family, social media, anything like that. Um, because it really helps me and it allows me to grow my audience. It really, really does. So, uh, thank you very much, guys, for watching this theme park news update. Please keep loving the channel as you always do, guys. Uh, please stay at home, protect the NHS, save lives. Um, go back and watch the big night in. It was on BBC One uh, a couple of nights ago now. Uh, there was some great stuff on there. The Little Britain comeback was one of my favourite parts of it. I wish I could have filmed something and sent it over to be part of the big night in but i just i just didn't have the time so um you know i really want to do some extra stuff just to help raise money and stuff like that so uh, if you want to see that comment down below and for now guys keep living the coast life i'm coach Chell, and i'll see you guys in the next video very very soon take care guys have an awesome day <laughs>